Hi, I'm Matt. I work at the Children's Museum, and these past four days I set out to see if I could try to create a water clock like the one at the museum using only things I could find here at home. Ooh, like maybe I could just put this in. No, maybe not. Uh, anyway, was I successful? Well, you'll just have to watch the videos each day to find out. Here's today's. The thing that I love most at the Children's Museum is the museum's water clock. For those of you who maybe don't know the water clock, it's this really cool glass creation that's filled with blue water. And it actually tells time based on how the water moves through this creation. It was built by a French physicist named Dr. Bernard Guitton, and I just think it is so cool. So now that I'm working from home for a little while, that's one of the things that I miss from the museum. I miss seeing the clock every day, getting to look at it, getting to talk with people about it. So, the other day, I had a thought. What if I could create my own water clock using things that I find around the house without even having to leave home at all to do so? So that is what I'm going to try to do. So the first thing I did was create a siphon. Uh, if you haven't heard of siphons before, do some more research into those, they're really cool. And our museum water clock uses a lot of siphons, so I figured I'd see if I could create one too. And it's pretty simple. All you really need is a bendy straw and a cup. Uh, I've got a couple straws together there and I stuck it through the cup, but you really don't even need to do that much. And you pour some water into the cup, and when the level of water goes over the top of the straw, then, oh, there you go, there it is. You can see the water will start draining out of the cup through the straw. You can see the level of water is getting lower and lower in there, and that's gonna keep going until the whole cup is empty. Pretty neat. And the other thing that I did was, well, over here, I've just got a bucket and uh, there's a little hole in the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. So some of the very first water clocks ever created by the ancient Greeks and the ancient Egyptians were essentially just a container with the hole in the bottom. They'd put water in the container and as the water drained out, the changing level would tell them how much time had passed. So I decided to do the same thing and I noticed something kind of interesting. If we put a little bit of water in this container, and see the water start coming out down at the bottom. There we go. We can see that the water is dribbling out there, but not very far. I even put a measuring stick down here and it's only going to, what about the seven maybe? But if I put this entire pitcher in and how about even another pitcher here, let's see what happens. The more water that's in the bucket, the farther out the water goes. Now we can see that it's going, wow, to the 16 almost? That's a lot farther. And the bucket's only even that full. The more water I put in, the farther out it will go. So maybe that will allow me to uh, mark the passage of time somehow too. I don't know, pretty cool. Just doing some experimenting. I'm gonna keep at it and I'll check back in with you again soon. That's today's video. Make sure you check out all the other ones too. And if you make a water clock using things you find at home, send us photos and updates using hashtag TCM at home. Well, that's all for now. Once again, I'm Matt Anderson, and thank you for joining us as we bring the Children's Museum to you at home.